Welcome to Hartman Math. We're going to take a look at Lesson 1.1, Rectangular Coordinates. And we're going to begin with the Pythagorean Theorem, something you should have experience with. Within a right triangle, a squared plus b squared is going to equal c squared. And that's going to connect to the distance formula. Because if we're taking a look at finding the length of any segment in the coordinate plane, we can essentially make a right triangle out of that. And then we would be looking at a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we can find those lengths with the coordinates. For example, here, to find this length, you just subtract the x coordinates. And to find this length, we're just going to subtract the y coordinates. If we go through the Pythagorean theorem there, then that's going to take us to the distance formula, which is one of the top 10 mathematical formulas that we should know, besides the Pythagorean theorem, is that the distance of a segment is the square root of the difference in the x-coordinate squared plus the difference in the y-coordinates squared. So let's take a look at an example. Once again, here's the distance formula. Find the distance between these two points. It can be helpful to label the points in, as far as putting it into the formula. So we could say that this is our first x coordinate, so x sub 1. First y coordinate, y sub 1. Second x coordinate second y coordinate. And then when we put it into the distance formula, we would be going uh, 1 minus negative 3 in parentheses squared plus 3 minus 5 in parentheses squared. Square root the whole thing. That would be the distance. So if we do the calculations, we get 4 squared plus negative 2 squared. And 4 squared is 16, negative 2 squared is 4. Add those up, we get 20. So the square root of 20 is the distance. And then if we're going to simplify that, we could break that up into the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. And therefore, the fully simplified distance is 2 square root 5. So checkpoint. See if you can find the distance between these two points, 3 comma 1 and negative 3 comma 0. Pause the video here, go through it, see if you can come up with the distance. Hopefully what you've got is here showing how we would substitute in is no simplifying necessary on this one. The distance between those two points is the square root of 37. Example four, and we don't always go through each example. As this is taken from the textbook. Uh, we have three points and we want to see if uh, that would make a right triangle. So we're trying to verify if this is in fact uh, a right triangle. So uh, with three points, if we connect the points, we're going to make a triangle, and we'll test if it's a right triangle. So the first distance, we'll take the first two points here, and find the distance between those two points, um, and we're going to go 2 minus 4 squared plus 1 minus 0 squared and so we get 4 plus 1, so it's the square root of 5. And then we're going to take a look at distance 2, the length of the second side of the triangle. And we'll go between these two points here. So negative 1 minus 2 squared plus negative 5 minus 1 squared. And see if we can simplify that. So negative 3 squared is 9. Negative 6 squared is 36. Add those up, we get 45. 
So we had the square root of 45. And yes, we could simplify that, but we weren't really asked to find the length of the segment. We're just going to use it. So we're going to leave it unsimplified. And then the third length would connect this point to this point. So we would go 1 minus 4 in parentheses squared plus negative 5 minus 0 in parentheses squared. See if we can evaluate it. So negative 5 squared is 25. Another negative 5 squared is 25 again. 25 plus 25 is the square root of 50. So if this is a right triangle, the Pythagorean theorem must hold. This is clearly the longest side, so that would essentially be our C. So we're going to check does A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Let's test it out. Root 5 squared plus root 45 squared, does that equal the square root of 50 squared? Well, yes, it does because we get 5 plus 45 equals 50. So since it's a true statement and it holds two to the Pythagorean theorem, that is a right triangle. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at in the coordinate plane is the midpoint formula to be able to find the midpoint of a segment. Um, so here's our formula. It's really just averaging the coordinates. So add the two x coordinates together, divide by two, since there are two of them. Add the two y coordinates together, divide by two. Or if just finding the average of the x's and the average of the y's. So example five, find the midpoint of this segment. Again, we could label them x1, y1, x2, y2. This is a pretty easy one. So all we're going to do is we're going to add the two x coordinates, the negative six and the seven, and divide by two to find its average, and do the same for the y's. So negative 6 plus the 7, divide that by 2. 1 plus 4, divide that by 2. It is a point. The midpoint is a point. So we're going to definitely put that in parentheses to signify that it is a point. If we just simplify, evaluate, we get 1 half, comma, 5 halves. If you really need it to be decimals, since the decimals are exact, also correct would be Parentheses, 0, 0 0.5, comma, 2.5. Another checkpoint, go ahead and see if you can find the midpoint of the segment that connects 3, comma, 2 and negative 11, comma, 0. Pause the video here, work it out. What you should have gotten was the midpoint is negative 4, comma 1 inside of parentheses. That's it for today.